Welcome to Slim AI. Thanks for trying our platform to improve your containers. This is the Slim front page. From here, you can search for different containers, and there are a number of different ways to connect to get access to containers as well. You can also have your own collections and store containers in our platform, but the magic sauce is the ability to find, analyze, harden, and develop SBOMs around containers while they're going through your CI process. We'll do a live example of this workflow now. I'll pull up a Nux container. Clicking on Latest will take me to the File Explorer. Here, I can look through my container for specific things like licenses, for example. Do I want those in there? Should they be in there? What licenses am I exposed to, etc. If I click the Overview tab, I can get some high-level information about the architecture, when it was last updated, the uncompressed size, ports that need to be exposed, shells, and so on. Clicking on the Vulnerabilities tab, I can also take a look at the vulnerabilities that exist at a high level. We can see that there are more than 1,100 vulnerabilities within the environment, of which there's over 3,600 occurrences, meaning there can be multiple instances of a vulnerability within that container. We scan with Trivi and Gripe, which we support natively since they're best-in-class open source tools. And in the future, we're also going to be doing Bring Your Own License for Sneak and others. So you'll be able to do multi-vulnerability scan automatically as part of your CI workflow. This is important because most organizations, when they ship their containers out, they don't know which scanner their customers are going to be scanning their containers with, so it's good to not just scan with one type. Now I want to harden this container, which would traditionally require a lot of work, many developer hours and analysis. From here, I'm going to click Harden. I'm going to go ahead and run this test in the Slim AI cloud environment. So the first question in this workflow is, where should I save the hardened image? I'm going to leave this as is and keep moving. Now I want to choose my application type, and I know it's a Nuxt application. And then you can choose where you want to exercise your app. I'm going to leave some of these standard settings in place on how we're going to exercise the container and figure out which components actually need to live there. We also have the ability to select specific files or components of the container that we want to keep. So we know that if there are particular parts of our container that need to be there, we can go ahead and manually select those, and that effectively whitelists what's going to stay. We don't have a Docker Compose file, and in this case, that's fine. Our system will actually help generate variables based on the community information and some analysis we've done behind the scenes. So here are our predetermined variables. The ports that are going to be utilized as part of the container are predetermined. We'll take one last look at our configuration. And now, if I click Next, that's actually going to conduct the hardening. So this is happening live. You can see that we're taking a 1.3 gig container and we're currently running and exercising it to see what we can do to harden while we're still allowing the application to run and operate. Now that our image was successfully hardened, I can take a look at the overview tab and see what's happened. We have an output that's 75% smaller. That means we've effectively reduced the threat surface by 75%, from 1.3 gigs down to 318 megs. I can go ahead and download the tar if that's what I want to do. And I can also scroll down for some different types of information, but I specifically want to dig into the results here. A lot of developers enjoy the image metadata diff. This is where I can take a look at what remains and what no longer exists after we've done the hardening. Anything in red has been removed. We also produce a Docker file diff if you prefer that view. Where it gets really interesting though is where we dig into the vulnerability diff, where we can see a vulnerability reduction of 94% of unique phones. So we've reduced the container size by 75%, but we've also reduced the vulnerability count by 94%.
So developers have a much easier time now of triaging and fixing since you're dealing with the count of 80 total vulns down from more than 1100. So from an output perspective, if I scroll down, you can see anything that's green, we've resolved by removing. Anything that's still white, we can filter based off of criticals or highs, or we can filter by scanner. You can download the report, and if there's a fix, we'll give you direct links to the CVE page where you can get all the details about that specific vulnerability. If you have any questions for the Slim AI team or want to receive the latest updates, please join us on the following platforms. You'll find links to where we are on the Slim AI website. We look forward to connecting with you and continuing to build together.